Welcome to our What's New in 2021 series. I'm Miles Brining and I'll be taking you through the updates for SolidWorks Flow Simulation. Rotating region is a powerful feature that is used to simulate fluid driving motion in rotating components. Now in SolidWorks Flow Simulation 2021, rotating regions can be combined with the free surface feature. This is ideal for mixing tasks that can be leveraged further to gain more insight into product performance. For this thruster, we are solving the torque and power requirements when it interacts with two separate fluids simultaneously. Goals are created to track these outputs, and by going to the history section of the goal plot, the values can be viewed throughout the duration of the study. With Flow Simulation 2021, new columns provided in the summary table make it easier than ever to find the maximum value and when it occurs. Creating common plots to visualize results is now even more efficient by using the new Create Plots from Scene command. You can now even create the same plots in multiple projects all at once. Just activate the plots to view them. If you create one or multiple plots that you want to use in other projects, simply show the desired plots and choose the new Create Scene Template option. Now you're ready to create your various custom plots in any other projects with only one command. Another common application for SolidWorks flow simulation is heat transfer. This vehicle enclosure has multiple electronic components inside that generate heat. The enclosure itself is designed to act as a heat sink, but how can you determine exactly how the heat is moving from one place to another? The flux plot provides a graphical interface where you can easily understand where heat is coming from and where it's going. A new option in this plot groups all items by type so you can quickly check the energy balance of the simulation and ensure that the study has fully converged. Investigating certain areas of the model can be done by creating a cropped region. When you click the automatic plot min and max options, they are now calculated from the cropped region so you can clearly communicate the range values without further manual modifications. Another improvement with goals is the ability to calculate the minimum, maximum and average from a selection of goals. For example, you can easily discover the maximum temperature across all of the batteries and PCBs with the minimum of setup time. To further reduce the amount of manual calculations, custom visualization parameters can now depend on other custom visualization parameters. The Magnus formula for calculating dew point temperature is a great example of when this can be used in new functionality. Just set up the items in the engineering database once and then they're ready to use in your past, current and future projects. In this release we can now see that free services are available in rotating regions. Fluxport energy balances have been included. Improvements to goals, plots with scene templates, plot min-max calculations from crop regions, and enhanced customer visualization parameters have been added.